Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm actually doing a haul. I haven't done an honest-to-goodness just haul video in a long time, and I feel like it's because I haven't actually bought a whole lot of products at once. I feel like for the past few months, I've been like cherry picking my makeup purchases I haven't really been buying a lot from one place so like I tend to buy a drugstore foundation here a new powder here maybe a lipstick here so I haven't actually like bought a whole lot of things at once which <laughs> is pretty good for my wallet but today's haul is coming from shop miss a and everything on the website is a dollar so I wanted to do a haul from shop miss a because not only is everything incredibly affordable they have my favorite makeup sponge of all time. So I did buy a whole bunch more because <laughs> they're only a dollar and they're better than any other makeup sponge that I've ever tried. And I know some of the products on the website can be hit or miss, but I really haven't tried out a whole lot of different things. So I have a whole package here. I basically bought enough products to get up to the free shipping, which still felt like a lot. Like this is a nice hefty package and free shipping is at $35. So $35, 35 products. That felt like a haul to me. <laughs> so this is not sponsored by Shop Miss A. As much as I would love to have a sponsored video, <laughs> please contact me. I love your makeup sponge. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. So I ordered this just about a week ago. The shipping really is pretty good. Oh, look how cute it's all bubble wrapped and we've got some cute packaging in here too i appreciate the little touch here and i really appreciate how much effort they went into packaging this like in a way that wouldn't break because i know some other higher end brands that don't do this and i think this is like a little sticker i kind of want to keep the sticker so i'm gonna try not to rip it i'm gonna cut it down here so within the final layer of bubble wrap, everything is kind of sandwiched in. So I'm going to start just pulling things out from here. Of course, like I said, the first thing I picked up is the sponge that I love so much. So this is specifically the Wonder Blender Black Teardrop. This one is my favorite. I've tried the other like really, really squishy one and I felt like it was too squishy for me. But this, this is perfect. I... I love this sponge. I use it every day. And since it's only a dollar, I can buy like eight or nine of them. I like to have enough where I can use a sponge a day for a full week of makeup without having to reuse one or wash one because then I like to wash them all at the same time on like a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday. So I picked up, how many did I pick up? I think I did eight. And I think the rest are at the bottom of the package. So they kind of squished them all in, but it's fine because it is a little sponge. But the best bang for your buck, quite honestly. I love the sponge. I'm rebuying these because I've noticed that my sponges, they still clean pretty well, but I've noticed staining and I've noticed some of them getting a little bit like a uh, hard. And I think it might be because there's products stuck in them, but I've had those for like at least six months. So <laughs> six months of use out of a dollar sponge. Yeah. Yeah, I think you probably should replace them a little bit more often. I don't know what the rule is for sponges. I don't like with eye products, it's like every three months, but I personally don't know, but I thought it was about time that I refreshed my sponge collection. Next, I have a couple of complexion products I was very curious about. So these are all from the AOA Studio line, which is Shop Miss A's own brand. The first product I have is a loose setting powder. So I picked up the Perfect Setting Powder it's in the shade Soft Light, uh, number 22. So I, I think they have a couple of shades. So I picked the one that I thought would best match me right now, and I think this is pretty decent. You get a decent amount of product in here. It is seven grams of product. Well, okay. And again, a dollar. <laughs> So I, I really want to try out all the complexion products, maybe do a whole video on them, but I was just really curious because I haven't tried a whole lot of the actual makeup products from this website yet. Next, I picked up two primers because I saw a dollar primer and I was like, uh, I, I'm curious. So these are again from the AOA Studio brand. This is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. And then I picked up the Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. So the Perfecting Blur Primer looks like a, a see-through kind of silicone based primer, but I do see some shimmer in here, which is interesting. So we'll see how that goes. And then this one just looks kind of towards like a, a light skin tone, but this is a mattifying primer. So I'm very excited to try out the mattifying one since it's that time of year when my entire face and life and body is melting off. 
What do we have next? Oh, no, this one. <laughs> oh, I think it got a little squished. So next, I picked up a couple of headbands. So this wasn't all makeup. So the first headband I got is this, like, little bear ear kind of one. So let's, let's try you on. Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. So I don't know if you can see it, but there are some nice lace details in here and then you've got it all lined up. I just love headbands like this for uh, when I'm actually doing my makeup in the morning because I do push my hair back and I don't want to keep using those thick, I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to avoid like the thicker like cloth headbands because they can kind of mess up my curls. Though I think I did pick up one or two of those because they are nice for when like you're just around the house and you really want to pull your hair back. But if I'm still trying to make my hair look nice for like work or anything when I'm leaving, I tend to use one of these headbands and I thought it was very cute. Again, a dollar. We got some more sponges. So I believe I pulled out the last of the sponges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine looks like i picked up nine sponges <laughs> next i was actually really excited to try out some of their liquid lipsticks so from the aoa studio brand again they have a whole line of liquid lipsticks that kind of look like dupes for ColourPop, and they're all a dollar so i picked up a whole set of these it's 10 of them and they had a couple of collections, like one was a warm lip collection, one was a cool lip collection, and they had like bright colors. I picked up the cool lip collection, so I've got the entire thing here. Let's just take a quick look at the shades, because I know a few of my favorite YouTubers have some go-to shades in, like from this line. And for a dollar, you, oh my God, you can't beat that. Okay. Ooh, these look pretty. So I'm not going to open all of these right now because that would take forever. But I see like we have like a lilac right here. I'm seeing a deep blue. Not sure if I would use that. Let me know if you want to see a video where I actually like open up and try all of these on. Because I'm actually pretty excited about these. Because again, they're a dollar. <laughs> this one looks like a really nice like deep pink. I'm excited about this one. If I could find an everyday like nice nude lipstick that was a dollar. I would die. I would actually die. I wouldn't die. Okay, I'm being dramatic. We've got like a nice red. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, a hot pink. Barbie pink. Oh, this looks like it could be a dupe for the Fenty. Also, let me know if you want to see a video comparing these to my other favorite lipsticks. Getting excited. Getting excited. This one looks like a nice soft kind of pinky mauve. I can't wait to swatch all of these. This one, ooh, ooh, look at this nude. I'm gonna keep this. This might be the first one I open. I wanna try that one. Like a berry kind of mauve. Ooh, a nice coral. Oh, that looks pretty. This one's a deeper, pretty shade. And then this one looks like a kind of. Ooh, like a deep gray tone nude. I think I'm most excited about these two because I'm really excited to find a a nice nude. Let me open, you know, I'll open up one of these. We'll just try it on. Because unfortunately, like all like affordable brands, it's packaged in a way that is like a pain in the butt to open. But let's not fuck up my nails, please. One eternity later. The applicator is a little wobbly. It does smell a bit strong, but I'm gonna try it on. And for reference, this is the shade 2006 Faded. I think that might just be a number, so maybe just the shade Faded. <laughs> okay, so it dries down pretty quickly. Still drying down a little bit. The applicator made it a little difficult to apply, but I like the color. It's a little darker than I thought it would be, but ooh, that's looking pretty. Let's see how that sets. And the scent doesn't last once you apply it. The scent might actually just be like the packaging. Ooh, ooh, I'm too excited about these lips, guys. So I can't count. This was a set of 12 lipsticks. I forgot I forgot if I paid 10 or $12 for them, but you can buy all of these individually for a dollar. So again, all a dollar. 
All right, I don't think the rest of this is makeup. Oh, let me check this last piece. What are you? Oh, I do have two more makeup things, I think. Yep, so to go with the complexion products, I did pick up just a finishing powder. This is in the shade 153 Ivory, and it's again from their AOA Studio Perfect line. This is the Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder to go with the rest of my complexion products. I really wanted to pick up a foundation, but I could not for the life of me find a foundation that was in stock, which good news, bad news. <laughs> Good news is apparently everyone is wanting them and they're just sold out constantly. The bad news is I can't get my hands on them. And then this is the first item that's makeup that I haven't gotten from the AOA Studio line. This is from Amuse Cosmetics and it's a blush pot kind of thing. So it's like a peachy blush. Again, I also tried looking for some nice peach blushes. A lot of it was sold out. So unfortunately, a lot of things on the website are sold out, but this does look really pretty and I was kind of trying to put together a full face, but with things being sold out, it was a bit tough. Okay, so now the rest of this is not makeup. So the first thing I picked up, so they have like, you know, headbands, they have hair care. There was this one bandana that I could not resist because it's black and white skulls. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at, oh God, like this, I'm gonna tie into a headband and wear this. Uh, this is adorable and look, ah. Uh, why is this so cute? It fits with my theme. I love black and white and I love skulls. I do. So I couldn't, I couldn't not get this. I kind of wish I picked up more because again, this was a dollar and it's actually, it feels like really thin cotton. I don't know what it's actually made out of. Is there a tag? Okay, I don't see a tag. I could probably look it up on the website and throw it up, but it just looks so cute and it's a really nice size. You can use it as like a neckerchief. Is that what it's called? Is that how you pronounce it? Or a headband or whatever, but I just, I like it. <laughs> and last but not least, we have sheet masks. I love sheet masks, but some of the best ones that I've tried and get from like Ulta or even from like Marshalls and, you know, TJ Maxx, three to four dollars, either for a pack or per mask. These are all a dollar each. So I want to go through all the sheet masks that I picked up. I absolutely love sheet masks, but I do think that for something that you use once, it can get a bit pricey, but I love them. I feel like they're the most relaxing. They're like the easiest part of my skincare routine. I don't use them like in the middle of the routine, I guess where you're supposed to, if you're following like the Korean 10, 20, 30 step skincare routine. But I like putting one of these on after my full skincare routine is done for the night and just laying back and relaxing. And I just, I feel like it makes a big difference when it comes to like moisture, but also I just, I feel, they feel nice. And if I can get them for a dollar and they work nicely, yeah. This looked like it was one line of sheet masks and it's from Crystal. Crystal Collagen Black Sheet Masks. This one's supposed to be anti-wrinkle. I don't know if any of these things actually work. But so this is the collagen, which is supposed to be anti-wrinkle. We also have an aloe one, which is supposed to be skin calming and moisturizing. We have a cucumber one, which is supposed to be moisturizing again. And then I got, oh, I got another collagen one. So I've got two of the collagens and then one of the cucumber and the aloe. And it looks like this one is like a black sheet mask. Some of them, I think the majority I've used, they're white, uh, but this one's black. The ones that I see that are black tend to be a... Uh, uh, like a clarifying one. So it's interesting to see a moisturizing ones that come black like that. The next one I have, this looks like a Korean brand. I can't read any of this. I might get my boyfriend to. Uh, okay. So in English, it says just 15 minutes white rose mask after supplying sufficient botanical nutrients through a mask for just 15 minutes, irritated and dehydrated skin caused by stress and a harmful environment changes to a glowy, healthful skin. I don't know about that, but it looks like a nice face mask. So it's from Nystr, N-A-I-S-T-U-R-E. This is the only one I think I picked up from their line because I think the rest of these, most of them come from the same brand. So I just picked this up. They have like a bajillion different sheet masks I and mean, it's awesome to pick from. Um, the first ones, I don't think these are specifically Korean. I don't see any other languages on here except for Spanish, but the rest of these, they're all marketed as like Korean skincare, Korean cheek masks. The last four all come from a brand called Esfolio. And 
I have a Pearl Essence sheet mask, which is supposed to be for uh, brightening. Yes, moisturizing and brightening for the pearl. We then have a green tea one. And I gotta, I gotta say, let's give a minute to look at the packaging. Because this is absolutely adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. Then on the back, more adorableness and they give you just, you know, your instructions. So the green tea essence is supposed to be for, can I, where's the English? Don't think it says it. So we got a green tea one. We have an herb essence, which I think is supposed to be lavender, but it says herb essence. And this one, they also don't say what it's supposed to be for. And then last but not least, we have the rose one, which this packaging is so cute. I love this. So again, doesn't say exactly what it's for, but I can't, I can't like turn down a dollar sheet mask. So I definitely want to try out all of these and see how I like them because my used to be favorites go to sheet masks were on Amazon and they were a bit pricey, but you got a full box set of them. But if I could find some good ones for a dollar, I could just spend like 30 bucks and get 30 masks and be set because I don't use these every day. I use them like once a week be set for so long. So that is everything. I think we finally got through everything in this haul. I had so much fun placing this order because I felt like I was, it felt like a big haul, but I spent, I think $35 and then I got free shipping. So I would highly recommend getting the black teardrop sponge if you have not already. The rest of these products, I still have to test out so I can do a follow-up to this haul to let you guys know what I think. So far, I'm already really liking the lipstick. It dried down pretty comfortably. It feels a little drier than usual. But it did dry down completely and I like the color and it feels comfortable. So I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the day, test out the rest of the colors. Let me know if you wanna see a full video on just those lipsticks because there are 12 of them and I'm excited to play around with all this new stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.